And that's really what art is in general, is just where the story starts. And with these shovels, for me, it starts in some garage or warehouse or shop where they've been ignored and they're rusted and nobody wants to ex exchange the handle for them. Rather than do that, I thought turning them into something that never dies is a little bit cooler. I take uh, old, neglected shovel heads that are no longer used or broken and sometimes they have a handle and sometimes they don't and I clean them up from rust and cement and all of the gunk that's on there and design a floral pattern on them and make a three-dimensional flower sculpture out of a shovel head. In one day I had 20 given to me by two different people and it was just kind of like, okay, I guess I can do something with shovel heads, I'm getting a lot of them. I like the flowers are adapting. With each one that I do, I feel like a channel that is growing a little bit. Each one is, a, uh, I don't know, almost cathartic. I think that's why I like metal as, a, as one, because you really can twist it and make it reveal something about yourself. Mm -hmm. I really like the concept of people being able to give each other a flower that doesn't die. A flower that, like, love shouldn't be represented by a cut flower. It should be represented by a flower that, that like, withstands hardships, like real love does.